with the random text block i expressions you create as they say, random text blocks, and there is the simple variant, the shifting variant, and the mutating variant. So we start with the simple one. It's as simple as that. You take some text layer, select either the layer itself or the source text property, and click on Apply. And you can see the text is replaced by some pattern, random pattern of text. And you can see here that the size of this varies a bit yeah and this is because a zero has not the same size as a one so over time when the random pattern changes also the size of this changes you can avoid this by choosing some fixed width font like for example Korea that has zero and one the same size and then you get a nice random pattern like this or maybe we also find a nicer font like uh, whatever I think consolas is a nice fixed width font yeah like this. Now we have our random pattern. Okay, the parameters of I expressions are really simple. You just say how many uh, letters do you want in this direction if you want to have 20 and apply this again. You can see now we have here twice as much and this is that you have 10 um, rows on uh, top of each other. And I just click here on auto apply that said all other um, changes uh, are automatically transferred. Um, the speed says how often does this change? Yeah? If we zoom in here a bit you can see that for one, two, three, four, five frames we have the same and then the random pattern changes. One, two, three, four and then again uh, the next random pattern. Yeah, Like every fa five frames we have a new random pattern. If you want to change it not at all you just set this to zero and now for all the time here you can see we have exactly the same pattern. Okay, then you can say how, sh what letters should be used here. Yeah? You have some presets, you can say numbers or you can say letters which are arbitrary small or lowercase letters and you can have lower and uppercase letters or only uppercase letters. You can have hex values uh, which are letters from A to F and uh, numbers or digits and the same with same with big digits or uh, uppercase letters and you can use a custom alphabet and the custom alphabet here is set to A, 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 B, C which means use A's, B's and C's but use the A three times as much as the other letters. Yeah? And you can also add here some whatever X and a dot and now you have in your custom alphabet also the X and the dot occurring. If you cl click here on use spaces, it also add space symbols. If you need more spaces, you can go here in your custom alphabet and add uh, simply additional space symbols and the space will occur more frequently. This here is also useful to use spaces if you don't have a custom alphabet. So with binary, now you see you have spaces and now you don't have. With this randomness, uh, in case you don't like in particular exactly this random pattern but you want another one. You can just write here another number say one and now you have another random pattern and two another random pattern. So these numbers have no particular meaning it's just for each number you get another random pattern. And if we duplicate our layer Control D you can see that the duplicate has not the same uh, randomness. Yeah, it is. Uh, it has different random numbers, so they look different here. Uh, and if you uh, s disable this change for each layer, and now the eye expression is irritated because it has two copies and don't know to which one it should be applied. Therefore, this auto apply, apply disabled itself. So we reselect the two copies and click on apply again. And now you can see the two copies are identical. Yeah. So if I move just one of them here slightly in position, you can see there are in fact two copies but they have exactly the same random numbers. And this is because we disabled here this change for each layer. This is useful for example if you want to have a second copy uh, that you blur a bit to get some shadow or whatever and you want this to be exactly the same as the first one. So then you just disable this change for each layer and that's it. Okay, this is the text block, a random text block simple and now you should look at variants that animate these letters here more nicely and the first one we start with is the random text block mutating. 
The big difference between the random text block mutating and the random text block simple is that the mutating one changes individual letters over time. Yeah? While also the simple variant can change the random letters over time, it always changes all letters simultaneously. And the mutating variant, so I've applied it here in the default settings, you can see that if I scroll over time, individual letters change. So most of the block stays the same, but some letters randomly always change. And this is a pretty nice effect and the parameters here are pretty much the same first with the simple block. So you can change here the size, for example, apply this and you have twice as many letters here. And um, then the new parameter is the letter lifetime. So how long on average each of these letters stays until it changes. So the default is here three. If you set this to like 10 for example and reapply. And let me enable here auto apply such that all changes are auto applied automatically. You can see now it is much less frequent that something changes here. Yeah, And if we set it instead to 0 0.5, so half a second and apply this, then you can see you have much more changes going on here. Another very important uh, property is the loop property because the patterns that are created here are actually loopable and currently is set to 50 frames. And if we go here to frame number 50 and set here our out point and preview this, you will see that we have a continuously uh, looping uh, animation. Yeah, you cannot see an abrupt change where everything uh, changes here from the g beginning to the end, yeah? but you have a continuously seamlessly looping element. If you set this loop here very large, the computation gets slower. Yeah? So if you set it to 50, it means the first 50 frames can be computed uh, or, or their computation takes some time. But after that, the same pattern repeats and therefore uh, it doesn't need to be computed again. Yeah? You can even see this here in the RAM preview patterns. You can see uh, that here some green, something is green and what is here green looks again similar and here also and here also. This is because the nice um, the hash cache of After Effects has determined that these regions are identical to these ones and once we previewed these elements here in the front it also reconstructed already parts of this. Yeah? So this means small loops mean fast computation but of course they also mean you have a lot of repetition. So in other words if we set here the loop to only 10 frames and apply this, yeah, you can see if, if we run preview this, it doesn't look like really a random pattern, but it's like almost always the same positions are blinking on and off and some other positions are never changing. And this is because our loop is so small that every 10 frames the same thing happens. So choose your loop wisely such that um, it looks still pretty random, but it is not so long that it takes a lot of computation effort. By the way, with this update, we did a massive speed improvement on these random text blocks. So the random text block mutating you see here is brand new at the moment I'm recording this. And the other text blocks got much faster in computation. So if you have had a feeling that the old versions tended to be quite slow, so for example, the random text block simple computes now roughly five times as fast, at least on my machine, as it did before. Okay, but now again to the details with the alphabet is exactly the same as with the random text block simple. Therefore, I skip all these details. Yeah, if you want to use numbers instead of binary, just apply it and it changes here or letters, whatever. And still you have this nice evolutionary changing behavior. And also the randomness is exactly the same. So if you like, not particular this one. If you don't like the F here at the first position, just change here another random seed and it will give you other random values. Okay, that's it for the random text block mutating. Now let's take a quick look at the random text block shifting. So the random text block shifting I've just applied to this layer in its default settings. And if you look at, at it with zeros and ones, it looks pretty similar to to the other random text blocks, um, except that you can see these numbers in this case run from right to left. Yeah, It's like if I go here frame by frame, every second frame from here to here, all numbers jump one position to the left. And this happens every second frame. 
Yeah, because we have set the speed here to 0 0.5, which means every half, as a, as only every second frame. And if we set it to minus 0 0.5, for example, it runs in the other direction. I now the numbers jump uh, to the right. Uh, this one, bam, jumped here to the right. You see this much better when you choose another alphabet. So these parameters here are exactly the same as for uh, the alphabet parameters as for the under random other random text blocks. So I'm not going to explain them again. But let me apply this and enable auto apply. And now you can see much better that um, if we go here over time, you can see the oops, the individual letters travel. Let me just look here at the RAM preview. You can see all the letters are traveling from left to right. Yeah? And when they are uh, traveling too fast for you, you can set this here, for example, to 0 0.1, do another RAM preview. And now you can see they travel much slower. Um, okay, then the randomness parameter is also exactly the same as before. Yeah, if you don't like this random text but want another one, just change it here and you get another random text. Another important thing is this loop here. Yeah, for this pattern, if you see that uh, the letters are traveling, and you can see, for example, that uh, at this point, look at this B here, for example. Yeah, It travels here to the right. And then when it disappears here, it will appear again on the right. Yeah. So if you look here, now it appears here on the right and continues traveling there. Yeah. So this means if, if you have pretty random patterns, it doesn't uh, get noticed easily, but every letter that disappears here will appear here again and if you go in the other direction it's exactly the same or if you go upwards which is by the way also possible yeah so let's uh, set this here to one and now it will go uh mo move move up and down yeah in this case it moves moves upwards as as you might see so this line in the next step jumps here and now it jumps here and so on so you have your movement upwards every frame uh if you have loop enabled, this first line here will in the next jump, let's go there, bam, will jump uh, here to the bottom, which is currently not visible because my text is here much larger than, than my composition. But in general, loop means everything that disappears at one side reappears at another side. If you don't want that, you can disable this, but be, sh uh, be aware that this also makes the computation much slower. Yeah, so looping is not only nice to have seamlessly looping uh, backgrounds, but also because it speeds up here as a computation significantly. Okay, that's it for the random text blocks. Uh, one quick note for each of these text blocks, you also have a variant that is not block. So you have not only the random text block shifting, but also the random text shifting. So the non-block variants are essentially identical, except that they don't create entire blocks, but only a single line of this random text. Yeah? And I decided to put them into separate I expressions because they have, have first a simpler interface then, and also they compute much faster. So if you need only a single line, use the non-block variants uh, to create your random text. If you actually need more than one line of text, use the block variants. Okay, that's it with the overview over the random text block I expressions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.